No, but we're gonna separate Fenty skin from this because I know nothing about I love their makeup so much. Look at it. It's got the little diamantes and the massive eyeliner and the brows. I just watched Naomi Jones video and she looked super sexy in her lingerie and she kind of inspired this video. I'm using the word inspire very loosely because it's not really gonna look anything like her, but she did kind of start fuel, fuel. Um, this idea. Black. Sexy. Black. Kettle. It would look nicer if it was a more expensive kettle, but this is a rental, so this is what they provided. Black hair, baby! Not the nicest color, but definitely the most, like, epic color, because there's no hair color quite like black. So, I have an idea, and I'm planning on executing it. Okay. <sighs> I have a good idea for this video. Hope you can't seem to figure out why I dyed my hair permanent black. In my latest video, I want to assure you it does have a point and in the coming weeks you're going to realize why I took such a challenging, drastic hair color for someone who does so much to their hair. One of the reasons that I love black specifically is the fact that when I pull my hair up, it looks just better than seemingly any other color. Baby hairs all get a lovely, well, right now they look, it looks messy, but the point is my baby hairs tend to like stick out a bit more and I can create some pretty fun looks that other colors don't really pull off as well because the black is just so dark it is just so pigmented it performs so much better than so many other colors so i am going to convince you why you should dye your hair black dark hair whatever hair i <laughs> i love black hair some of you left on my previous uh video that it does not suit me when i'm not wearing makeup i'm gonna have to agree with you there i think black is a very contrasting color and it's demanding today i'm gonna fill my face up with with makeup. I don't know that that is how you should put in contact lenses, but that's how I put them in. So for here, I am thinking the one and the only high ponytail. However, you might notice that my hair is pretty short at the moment, which makes it pretty stupid for a high ponytail. So I got myself some ponytail extensions. This video is uh, sponsored by Clip Hair. They have probably the largest selection of hair extensions ever. One of the best quality as well. They are 100% human. And I chose their 24 inch, let me get this correct. 24 inch mega straight up wrap around ponytail extensions. Really, really beautifully presented. There are also some goodies underneath. So I just chose genuinely the longest extensions in jet black, not really knowing what 24 inches looks like, so I might be in for a treat. That is long. Um, you get some goodies to further adhere it to your hair, as well as um, a little product list that they have in extension guide. This is literally designed to just clip onto your hair. Once you clip this into your hair, this has a bit of Velcro here. You wrap this around the base of your ponytail and then it covers itself with hair. That's what we're going to try today. I'm going to link a couple different links down below where you can check out all of Clip Hair's details down below as well as more information about the extension. First thing we're going to do, and this is courtesy of Mr. Chris Appleton, I'm going to just take pretty much like a triangle section of hair just at the very, very top of my head because we're going to style this later. At this point, you should be looking just like raw sexy. Funny story, when I was younger, I used to think baby hairs were ugly, that they should not exist, so I shaved them off. All grew out at once, so I, I had like a nice um, strip of hair on my forehead. I best moment at all. Some got to be sprayed this is probably the most like hardcore hairspray out there if you want more of an elastic hole like something lighter would probably work but this is i mean it's literally lasting free spray Ooh, that's nice this pimple on my cheek is really <laughs> I was going to use a regular rubber band to seal this, but I just remembered that there are these things. Loose-ended rubber band with two hooks on the end of it. You hook it kind of wherever. You start wrapping it around the base. Like this, and then hook it in to seal. So far, I am looking 
aortic as heck. It actually isn't too much in the center, but that's kind of my fault. Okay, bobby pins, free spray. Flat side out, right? So the ridgy part is what's going to stick kind of to your scalp. The reason I kept this out is because I want to create a ponytail with a middle part or right here in the middle and then comb it back. This is very much seen on Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, even Gigi Hadid. A very celebrity hairstyle. Can you not keep doing that? I'm so sorry. I'm going to be using another very cool technique that I keep seeing on Instagram very often on like braiding channels. If someone goes in for like box braids, cornrows, they need a very, very clean parting. They will go in with a gel all over the general area of the parting and then they go in and with a super fine tooth comb, go ahead and perfect parting. The gel essentially ensures that when the parting is clear, the hair doesn't shift back and forth and is a really bloody ingenious way of using and getting such a clean parting. Beautiful. How we comb everything back? Not ideal. There was a crack and then I see each morning. My hair feels extremely crispy at this point, but it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten these really, really quickly. It shouldn't take me long because they're already pretty darn beautiful. I just want to get out any kinks. I think I might just give this a tiny bit of movement at the very bottom, just curl it upwards so that there's ju just a bit of flair. YouTuber and also a baker. I've been baking for years and I- Hello? Hello, I'll give you a call back when you're not when you're busy for that. Okay. Bye. Speak soon, bye. When you grab your extension and you see this little clip right over here, this one, yeah. That goes underneath your rubber band here. Oh. Ernie looks so epic! Oh my god, okay. Wrap it under your ponytail. Just again so that there's less flyaways and so it adheres better. When it comes to the edges, I'm going to start rolling them up and then I'm going to just pin them under with a bowie pin. I'm in love with this look. I love the middle parting. I think it just makes the look a bit more approachable. Like the, the high pony is like very... Mm, middle parting just softens it a bit. The pair also sent over their moisturizing and nourishing spray. Spray this just on the ends of the ponytail to hydrate and uh, add shine to my ends. Oh, that is gorgeous. <gasps> That is stunning. Oh my god, that is stunning. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh my god. Do you want black hair yet? Yes? Fantastic. But I feel really, really good because it, you cannot instantly tell that they're extensions. Well, you can't tell that they're extensions because it's 24 inches, but if I got them shorter or if I cut them shorter or whatever, it would probably be insanely difficult to tell that it's extensions because it blends so bleed and seamlessly. You guys are constantly asking for a makeup tutorial. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, I feel like I'm okay at makeup. I'm not like exceptional or Again, I'm probably gonna just copy Naomi John's look. So that's that's how un unoriginal and uninspiring I am. I forgot my little beauty light. Today I'm gonna be doing something that I saw from Michaela on TikTok where she double primes for extra longevity of the makeup. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start with a sticky base primer by XX Revolution and it's got this weird, weird like putty consistency. This is the NYX Angel Veil primer. I used to hate, I used to love this primer and then hate it and now I'm loving it again. It is extremely powder-like. It's a cream 
but it's extremely powder like hence the mattifying effect so do you see how like the lower portion of my face is a lot more matte than my forehead that's kind of what it does boom this is away we glow by nyx and it adds um, a ton of glow to the face I bet right about now you're convinced that I really don't know what I'm doing. I look a bit funny. I look a bit funny. Stop the clock rejuvenating fixing mist. The setting spray that I spray onto a dry beauty sponge. The method to this madness is that as you're applying the foundation on your face, it's also setting it because it's a setting spray and it just works wonders. This is the foundation I'm going to be using and I like it. Whack, whack. What color pop sent me? It's a baby Yoda mirror. Look. Now it's all about fox eyes and this lifting thing. Oh, and this is also by Dior. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but you know, it's, it could be fun to imagine something funny i don't know how to contour i don't do it it's something that i don't know how to do half tempted to cover up the uh, this this part of my eyebrow and like lift it up stop 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 hi hi it's okay they're just people no no that's such a weird noise I do know that I like a warm forehead and that I like to add my contour kind of here. This is Colourpop. It's a pretty one. The forehead to look like we go out into the sun. Be like that's lifted but also messy so i need to see if i can do any sort of um resurrection highlighter because i love highlighter and this is duochrome thingy by mac or soft froth you're gonna grab your favorite eyeliner and we're gonna create probably the biggest ring we've ever created I like it. I'm meant to go ice skating in around three hours, except um, this ponytail is already giving me a headache. <laughs> How do you do it, Ariana Grande? <laughs> so as you can see, everything we're doing is still contributing to that very lifted look. We are going to pull out one more thing to kind of give us more of a lifted look. These things, go. That looks badly presented. I'm sorry, Revolution Lashes. It's just, I've used these before. Basically, any lashes that have a very long outer corner and is like kind of directed upwards is going to continue to aid in that lifting effect. Put your lashes kind of where you want them. You let it touch your lash line and then you immediately take them off. This will leave a strip of glue, get tacky, and then when the two touch again in a few seconds, it'll be like the strongest glue bond ever. I bought this thing from Sheen. I'm actually kind of terrified to open it because I have a feeling it's just all going to pop out, but lash glue right here. Tip of a makeup brush, I'm gonna dip it into the glue and I'm just going to place the glue strategically to where I want to place a little diamantes. And you're going to grab a wax tipped pencil, sharpen it, and you can pick up diamond with it. I love it.
And then here is a Stella hack. black babies it'll make you feel a certain good way that's it that's the look it's a bit of a catfishing look but it's also the biggest confidence boosting look ever this look would not would not be present with any other hair color let's just let's put it out there it is so dark it is so contrasting it is such a power power color i think that the makeup is doing its best to kind of catch up to it but the hair is very clearly the center which is good because this is a hair channel uh giving full credit to naomi john for the makeup look she was pretty much the sole inspiration for it if you want i'm going to be linking this down below because this again is the kind of showstopper without it the entire look would kind of not be present it would you know, it'd be dead, it'd be dull. It's going to be down description box below. They have an incredible Boxing Day sale, so you can just go ahead and click it right now. You're gonna find a beautiful sale uh, ready, available for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will give it a go. I will see you in my next video. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this and if I convinced you. Thank you. <laughs>